Midjourney just released an update to version 5, but did they break it? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Hey everyone, we just deployed a new version of our V5 algorithms tonight. It is now live and the default anytime you use dash dash V5. That's important to know. Some pretty big changes here though. The new algorithm should be twice as fast, which means half the cost in terms of fast hours. That's crazy. Like, absolutely absurd. There should be little or no loss in quality. Mm, should should be. This should also solve all the GPU shortages. Now that's a good sign. If you think you sense a problem, Spidey senses, you can fall back to the old model with dash dash V5A. Double check with the same seed number and use fast mode for both images. We can do that. But look at this, they've also added a new status page. You should be able to go here anytime now to see the status of our systems. What do you think? This is kind of cool. It's got some updates here. You can create images right now. The Discord bot is running the website is running average wait times is kind of interesting though the version 4 model in fast mode being 0.7 seconds and v5 just under that meanwhile v5 relax mode is 1 minute and 51 seconds now i don't think that is time to completion obviously that is like time to get your job started so if you try to prompt a generation in version 5 using fast hours it's going to happen instantly less than a second but if you try to use version 5 in relax mode it's going to take about two minutes before your job even starts if i'm reading this correctly i think i am now i tested this new algorithm but i wasn't sure how it could showcase the differences between this and the old one so i went to one of my favorite sites canva.com and i tried to put together these little comparison slides you can see the prompt here in the middle, portrait of an Instagram model, surrealism style, 4x5, and then the seed number 12345678 stylized 700. I'm going to be honest, I think there is a big difference between the new algorithm on the left and the old algorithm on the right. We'll go picture by picture. You know what, let me say this. Number one in the new algorithm looks good and I wouldn't know how much better it could be unless I looked at the old algorithm. In terms of surrealism style, I like the older one a lot. 5A, that looks good. And then let's compare number two. The new one looks okay again, I guess, but I feel like the old one looks better. How does it seem to you? I feel like there is a big difference here. Number three in the new version kinda doesn't make much sense, but then in the old one, you can see that there's supposed to be mushrooms on her head. And then there's like a little castle in the background. Like I like that a lot. And then number four in the new, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. I actually don't mind it, but for some reason the old picture I think looks better. I don't, I don't know. This first test kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting such a big change. And I don't know if you would call these big changes, but I think there's enough of a difference to make you wonder how your prompt is gonna look on either algorithm. Let's go through some more examples. We got the prompt here on the left, new version up top, old version on the bottom. A girl in a blue raincoat, overcast sky, unsplashed, C1199, stylized 700. And let's go picture by picture. So in number one, of course it looks great. Mid Journey doesn't really create bad images, but I think I like the old algorithm better. I think that's a nicer picture. I don't know. We'll go to number two. Maybe I like the newer version better. So we'll say 50-50. That's one point for the new algorithm, one point for the old one. Number three, I think I like the old one. And then number four, I feel bad for this girl she looks like she's having a tough time and i think i like the old algorithm better but that's kind of hard to say that's a tough comparison let's take a look at the animals the wolf a wolf with neon blue fur ferocious angry drooling seed number 11235813 fibonacci stylized 700 now there are some pretty big differences here and i think I like the new algorithm better, especially in number one. Look how clear the fur is in the new one. And then look how abstract the fur is in the old one. We'll go to number two. In the new algorithm, look at the yellow eye. It's very clear. And in the old one, it's got a blue eye. You wouldn't think that's a major difference, but that's a pretty big difference if you're looking for a picture of a wolf. Then in number three, there is a pretty big change. I mean, they're facing different directions. And the eye color, again, is a little off. In number four, maybe I like the fur of the old one a bit better. What do you see here? How did it do with the wolves? I think we have to give it to the new V5 in this case. Portrait of an alien queen, super flat pop style C99 S700. Number one, I'm going with the new algorithm. Number two, 
I'm going with the new Algo. Number three, I think you can make a case for the new, but I'm going old here. I'm going 5A. I like the form a little better. And then in number four, I'm going new. I'm going default new five. I think I like it better. I mean, it's choosing between two of the same thing, obviously. It's kind of silly to make these comparisons, but I do think it's important to know that there is a difference. Let's jump outside and look at some architecture. Experimental architecture, house design, constructivism style, seed 778899S700. What's really interesting here is how they are different designs. Look at number one. This white house is not the same. And at this point, I don't think you could really tell which one is better or which one belongs to which version. Like, I don't think it really matters. So at this point, your personal preference, completely up to you. Number two, I think I like the old algorithm better, but maybe the new one's a little more clean. Number three is definitely the most similar, but I think I like the design of 5A here. And then number four, it's a pretty big difference for sure and 5a kind of doesn't make sense to my eyes i think i like the new one better but i have an example that's going to show you a big difference in my opinion between the new version and the old take a look at these i upscaled them to give them more of a direct comparison the prompt is sports car stained glass origami style unreal c2 2 three, four, five, eight, five. I think I just hit random numbers on my keyboard for that one, S700. I want you to judge first which one you like better and then I'll tell you what I think. Give you three seconds, three, two, one. What do you like? In my opinion, I think 5A is so much better than the new version, like so much better. I think it's more crisp. I think ah, it's tough to say. And I don't know if that analysis is going to expand over every prompt you could ever write. But for this specific prompt, I personally feel like 5A knocks it out of the park. I just think it's better. Maybe it has to do with this color around the front of the car, the blue and the green. That's not quite here in the new one. M maybe it's just that. I don't know. But look at this. I think 5A is so much better. I think it's more clear. I like the tire a lot better and like the brightness of the color of the shine off the glass. Do you see what I see? I don't know. And maybe I like the reflections better in 5A. There's something there. And this one might be the most obvious to me at least. I think 5A is way better, way more clear way more crisp just in the individual shine i don't know what you call that it kind of looks like the car is wet you know it's got a little bit of gradient to it a little bit of roughness and you can see the light hit like the individual bumps especially at the front of the car here compared to the front of the car up here and then just pick a panel like this blue i think is way more clear than any blue up here i don't know is it just a personal preference thing do you see a difference have you noticed a difference in your prompts have you experimented like I have. Let me know if you find any patterns and what you think of it. But I think at the end of the day, if the new algorithm is twice as fast and half as expensive, I think I can live with these small differences, especially because it's hard to articulate what the differences even are. You know what I mean? Anyways, let me know what you think. I hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you next time. Peace.